Hey guys, welcome back to another video here and another Topic Tuesday. Just in case you don't know what Topic Tuesday is, although I'm sure by this point you guys all do, it's just a series of prompts on Instagram, which I will link down below as well as my own Instagram. And it's just something you can answer either on Instagram or here on YouTube. And because I'm long-winded, I have chosen YouTube. And today's prompt that I'm going to do is, what is your favorite long-wearing top coat? And I've kind of gone through a roller coaster of top coats. And it's not that I just give up on the ones and, and never repurchase, but I just get so fixated on one. I'm like, this one's the best. And then the other ones, you know, I'll use on occasion. But I don't know. I just, once you find a good top coat for these purposes, I feel like it, uh, you don't really need to have multiple because. Most of what I'm looking for in a top coat is it doesn't chip, it dries quickly, and it looks glossy, at least for glossy top coats. You know, I of course have like matte top coats and like specialty stuff, but this one specifically, I'm just talking about like glossy top coats. And the very first top coat that I got, which I would say was a, a good top coat for me at the time, it wasn't just some like random crappy little drugstore one was the Sesh Vite top coat. And I don't have any right now. And the reason why is even though I found that it was pretty glossy and it was very long wearing on my nails, it had a couple of problems. One, it smells really, really bad, which I don't mind. I don't mind a chemical scent, but some people really do. And when you have roommates and you are painting your nails a lot at that time, it's kind of impolite, I think, to like constantly be subjecting them to such a intense smell. And the other problem is it has what is called shrinkage, which if you don't know, sometimes you can paint the entire coverage of your nail uh, over the color, right? But it will kind of like shrink in and create a gap between like a thin, almost like a thin ring around your nail of like untop coated polish and top coated polish. It creates almost like a big crack around the curve of your cuticle. And it just looks bad. And, it, and so I didn't really like that. And finally, Sesh V gets thick fast. So when it's exposed to the air, there's a chemical that starts to evaporate fairly quickly out of that particular top coat. And Seshvit is aware of it. They do have a, another product you can buy called Sesh Restore, which you are, I'm pretty sure, just nail polish thinner drops that you add back into the top coat and shake up, and then it is supposed to be, you know, good to use again. But it's a little bit frustrating to buy a product where they're like, yeah, this is going to defect in like 10 to 12 uses. So buy our other product. It's just like, why are you not selling these as a standard set, you know? But it's not like it's that expensive. I'm just complaining to complain. However, the, the biggest issue for me is like the shrinkage issue. So I just don't really buy it anymore. If I come across it or if it's all that's available at a place, that's fine. I'll do it. But I don't actively try to find such V anymore. So after Sesh V, I ended up using Out The Door here. And the reason was I found on, I think it was a forum, people were saying if you didn't like the shrinkage issues with Sesh V, but you still wanted a easy to find quick dry top coat, try Out The Door by INM. And so I did, they sell it in actually smaller bottles. This one is a different top coat by them, but it, it comes in this like half ounce bottle. This is a uh, 2.3 ounces, but I used up a little bottle of it or a normal size bottle of it, I should say. And I really liked it. I was like, wow, fast drying top coats. These are changing my life. And so I went ahead and I bought the big bottle. And this is actually my second big bottle. I've used this top coat for a couple of years at this point, And I really liked it. But then when I'll show you the next top coat in a second, but when I started using the next one, I started to notice some minor flaws in in this one and they're not like bad things it's just things that i'm not looking for in a top coat so namely this is way thinner than i realized i mean look at how it like sloshes around most of my other like thick glossy top coats that i have 
are very thick. They move very slowly. They have a really high viscosity. Whereas this one, it's just like, it, it's not quite water, but like it's almost there. So in order to get like the thickness I wanted on my nails, I needed two coats of this typically. It dries pretty quickly, so it's okay, but it's like now you're using more product when I've got stuff that does it in one. And the other thing is, it's just a little bit duller than some of those super glossy top coats. Not super bad, but it's just side by side. I think because of like the lack of thickness, you start to notice that it's just not as shiny. It's just not as nice as some of those other top coats. Now the trade-off is this one's definitely like cheaper per ounce compared to the next one I'm going to show you. But if pricing isn't like a concern for you, it's really only a couple bucks difference, then I would say, you know, skip this and just go on. Learn from my trials and tribulations, I guess you could call them. Because after this, I ended up trying, I was like, how great could this be? Who needs it? And I, I threw it on an order from Holo Taco just to get the free shipping. <laughs> and this is the super glossy taco. I haven't tried like the regular one. I've only tried this one. And this one definitely looks good. It's very glossy, very shiny, thick in the way that I want it to be. But unlike the out the door and very much like Sesh V, it gets thick really fast, like unusably thick to the point where I've had to, the first bottle I had about halfway through, I had to add some drops into make it thinner because it was spider webbing out. You know what I mean? Where you like pull the, the brush out and it just has like a string leading from the polish to the brush. And it's just kind of not great for painting your nails with when it's like that because it starts to stick to itself and it can even like pull up on your polish and design and whatever. So about halfway through my first bottle, I had thickness issues and um, it does it does smell really strongly, kind of like Sesh V, but not as bad. Just it's almost there. But yeah, like I said, halfway through the first bottle, got really thick. About a third of the way, <laughs> through this bottle got really thick. So I just feel like this one thickens up way too much. And I have also had some issues with bubbling with this one where it's just, I can't get the bubbles to not happen on my nails. And I, I really don't usually have that problem with other polishes. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm not saying this is the last bottle of this I'll buy, but it's probably going to be one of the last bottles I buy because you guys turned me on to what is probably the greatest top coat of all time. And that is the Glisten and Glow Clear, Shiny, and Fast Drying Top Coat. Now, I would seen people talk about this before, but I just never really thought too much about it. But then in my last like favorite base and top coat video that I did, everybody was recommending that I try this. So I was like, it's probably gonna be expensive. And I went and looked it up and it's like 650 or something a bottle. I was like, what the heck, that's so cheap. This, is it really gonna be that good? So I bought it, used it once, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is that good. Because I feel like this dries my nails to like functional levels in 10 minutes or less. Like it's super glossy. It has that kind of rounded, brush which I like the rounded brush because I feel like it fits like right into the curve of your cuticle perfectly and you can do like one really good stroke and then get the edges as you need to it's just like the perfect top coat it dries so fast it's so glossy and like even after days and days of wear like I have recently had a couple weeks where I was wearing the same manicure for six or seven days because I just didn't have time to paint my nails with my usual frequency. Not a single chip. Even on polishes where I'm like, these are kind of like chippers on me or they just are not as long lasting. This, this doesn't chip. It didn't chip through me moving. I mean, I did break a nail while I was moving, but it didn't chip the polish <laughs> through me moving. I uh, haven't had it chip any like in the shower or anything like that. 
It's just a really good top coat for literally the best price point you could ever get it at. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I have bought one for a gift for somebody. Like it's just like I'm going to evangelize this as much as I do the Maniology smudge free because this is like the best top coat. So if you have not tried this, please try it. And if you have a recommendation for another one that is like god tier like this one, just let me know in the comments. I like to I like to be up to date in the nail polish world. <laughs> but yeah, so these are my top rated long wearing top coats. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, you paint your nails two plus times a week. What do you care about long lasting top coats? And to be quite frank, I, I don't care about like the long wearing aspect of a top coat in that I'm going to wear that polish for like a week or like two weeks or whatever. But I do care about it in the sense that I want it to keep my manicure down. Like I said, like chip nails are one of my biggest like pet peeves. And I know some people don't care about that. And aesthetically, like maybe that's their vibe. For me, the second I chip a nail, I'm painting them again because I have this feeling that I'm like, people are looking at my nails and they're like, wow, she's dirty. And it's so stupid because I've never looked at somebody with chipped nails and was like, wow, they look gross or disgusting. I'm just like, okay, their nails are chipped. So I'm sure that's what people are thinking when they see my nails, if they even think that. But for me, like personally, I just think like, oh no, like it's like a matter of hygiene, which it's not. But I'm a little bit like uptight about those sort of things. Let's say it like that. So yeah, I I prefer to have a, a top coat that's going to actively prevent the chipping. And another thing that can help with that is like a good base coat too. But I think that the top coat is really what, what's most important because it seals it all in. And if you don't have a good seal, it's just not going to stay on. So yeah. These are my top coats. I recommend all of them. I think they're all good. I just think that if you were going to choose one, this is the best one. And obviously, another factor that I think doesn't get spoken about enough is everybody's body chemistry is a little bit different. So stuff that might last a really long time on me uh, might just instantly fall off of somebody else. <laughs> you know, like I, I know people who can wear um, peel-off base coat for multiple weeks and me peel off base coat lasts about two two days like it's just i think it's a matter of body chemistry and the way that your particular body uh really reacts to that sort of stuff so i think it's really just a matter of trial and error for everybody but it never hurts to, <laughs> to get some recommendations right so like i said let me know down below what is your favorite long wearing top coat and if you do know, let me know what's the longest you've ever worn a Manny with it and it still looked good. Because I've had, uh, I had one or two, like I said, where I was wearing this and it was like seven to nine days and they were still going pretty strong. So definitely a ringing endorsement here. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Let me know, like I said, in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.